Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. So today in this tutorial we will discuss about a pattern program and this pattern was asked in an interview. So we want to print this pattern that is this number pattern. We already discussed about two patterns which are similar to this that is this pattern and this pattern. Today's pattern is this. I will give you the link of these two videos in the description box. And for today, to print this pattern, we will refer this pattern because both these pattern are same. We want to print numbers column wise. Here we can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Similar way, we want to print numbers here. But only difference between these two pattern is here we are starting the number with 1 and it will end at 15 when number of rows is 5. And we will print numbers in the increasing order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here we can see. But in today's pattern, we'll begin with the 15 and we'll end with 1. We will print numbers in the decreasing order when row is 5. We'll get output like this. So I'll take this program now and I'll explain you this program. But if you want detailed explanation, then you need to watch this video. Based on this pattern, we will print this pattern so this is the program to print numbers in the column wise so if i save this and run this if i enter number of rows as 5 then we'll get output like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and here we are printing the numbers in the column wise right so keeping this program as base we will write the program for today's pattern before that i will explain you this program quickly Okay, so here first we'll ask the user to enter the number of rows and we'll store that in variable n. Next, similar to other patterns to print numbers in the row and column, I need two for loops. So first for loop is for row. So this for loop is for row. And here I took range as n because here we ask the user to enter the number of rows and we store that in variable n. So we want n rows. That's why I mentioned row as n. Here I took range as 0 to n. You can take 1 to n plus 1 also. And next here in the for loop body, I took two more variables val and decrementer. And here I assigned row plus one value to this variable value. So this variable val will hold the number which we want to print in the different row and column. In the beginning of each row, I want to print one, two, three, four, five in the column zero. This is the row value. So we can write this as row plus one, right? So here row is 0, that means 1. Row is 1, here we want 2. Here row is 2, here we want 3. That is nothing but row plus 1. That's why I took val as row plus 1 initially. In short, this value holds the value which we want to print in the in different rows and column. So next variable is decrementer. And I assigned the value n minus 1. So this decrementer variable will hold the difference between the different column numbers. After printing 2, I want to print 6. After printing 3, I want to print 7 in column 1. After printing 4, 8, 5, 9. So the difference between column 1 and column 0 is 4 here. Okay. So what is 4? 4 is nothing but n minus 1. The number of row is 5 and the difference between the column 1 and column 0 is 4. So that's why I took decrementer as n minus 1. The first difference between column 1 and column 0. Alright, so next I'll take the for loop for column. I want row plus one column. Here when row is zero here I want one column. Here row is one I want two column. Row is two I want three column. That's why row plus one column. Next here I'll take the print statement and print the value. So here I took range as zero to n. So initially row value will be zero. So I'll get value as one. So initially it will print one. I took end as space. So that is nothing but after printing one value, it will keep the control in the same line and it will print space after printing one. It will print space between two value. You can take end is equal to empty string or space. It will keep the control in the same line. Next here, I'll take value equal to value plus decrementer. That is nothing but after printing five to print nine, I need to write it as five plus four. I need to increment value, right? To print 9, I need to add 4. 4 is nothing but the decrementer value here. 
the difference between column 1 and column 0 so i need to add value plus decrement okay so this is to print the column 1 column 2 column 3 values next statement is decrement are equal to decrement minus 1 that is because here the difference between column 1 and column 0 is 4 and the column 2 and column 1 is 3 and this is 2 and this is 1 so for the difference we took the variable name as decrementer initially it is 4 next 3 next 2 next 1 so i need to decrement this variable by 1 that's what i did here decrementer minus 1 next this print function it is for new line after each row i want new line that's why i use this function so this is about this program now we will move on to our today's pattern here in this two pattern the method of printing number is same but we need to print the numbers in the reverse order here in the increasing order here but the main problem with this pattern is the starting value here this pattern will begin from 1 if you give number of row as 1 2 3 or 10 or 15 or whatever this pattern will begin from 1 but here that is different when number of row is 1 it will start from 1 when number of row is 2 it will start from 3 number of row is 4 it will start from 6 number of row is 4 it will start from 10 and when number of row is 5 it will start from 15 right how to find out the beginning number if you find out this number then we can easily print other number right we need to print the numbers in the reverse order from that number till 1 right for a minute we'll think that we don't want to print a general program okay if i want to print the program for uh, five rows then i take n as five and i'll take k as 15 okay k is nothing but the first value of our pattern okay when number of row is five we need to start our pattern from 15 right so to print that pattern so here we need to take value as k minus i because here we took k as 15 so this the first value in the beginning of each row i need to print 15 next 14 right so what is 14 14 is nothing but k value minus row okay these are the row values so to print this k minus 2 k minus 3 k minus 4 right so that's why here i need to take k minus row sorry okay not i because here we took variable name as row next we'll keep the decrement as same that is n minus 1 because the difference is same next don't change anything in the for loop here we need to print value here not plus here minus because we want to print the number in the decreasing order and here we can see this is the larger number and this is the smaller number 14 and 10 that's why here minus and here decrementer is same so now if i execute this program it will print like 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 we'll get the required output but this is the problem how to find out this value k is 15 we need to write the general program so we need k value how to find out this k value if we observe this pattern closely when n is equal to 1 the pattern should start from 1 when n is 2 pattern should start from 3 that is nothing but 1 plus 2 when n is 3 the pattern should start from 6 that is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 when n is 4 should start from 10 that is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 when n is 5 start from 15 should start from 15 that is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 so when n equal to 5 we need to add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 to get 15 when n equal to 4 we need to add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 to get 10 so in this way we need to find out the k value so for that i'll write a function here i'll take the function name as num i'll take the parameter as n1 that is the row number so if 
n1 is equal to 1 okay return 1 okay so if number of row is 1 return 1 else you can print else or you can write like this only because when this condition is true it will return 1 so the function will stop so it won't execute the next line if this condition is false it will check the statement return here so it will return n1 plus i'll use recursive function n1 minus 1 okay so if n1 is 5 then it will check n1 is equal to 5 no so it will write 5 plus num n1 minus 1 that is num of 4 it will recursively call this so we will get 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 this code is similar to the factorial program in the factorial program if you want to find out the 5 factorial that is nothing but 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 right so we will use multiply right here here I used plus that's it now here instead of k I need to call num function for n now if I save this and run this so I'll enter 6 it will print 21 20 19 18 17 16 it's proper if you want you can use 4 it will give the output okay it will work for every input and one more thing we are printing number pattern so when we are printing number pattern we'll face the problem with the format of output okay so at that time you can use format here to avoid the space problem and you can use you can take end as empty string so it will print the numbers properly we already made a video on this format function i will give you the link in the description box you can go and watch that to understand that okay so next we'll see the working of this program so here this is the function definition and this function definition is executed only when it is called so the execution of the program starts from here and it will ask the user to enter the number of rows and if i enter the number of rows as 3 that will be stored in this variable n so n value will be 3 next it will execute the next statement that is k is equal to num n here num is a function and this is the function call whatever the result we will get from this function that will be stored in this variable k when we will see the function call control goes to the function definition ok so this function definition will execute now so here n value is 3 so the n1 value also becomes 3 so in this function first it will execute this function call for n1 as 3 so it will check whether n1 equal to equal to 1 no 3 is not equal to 1 so it won't execute this statement it will return this result that is n1 plus num n1 minus 1 so return n1 that is 3 plus num n1 minus 1 that is nothing but 2 so here we can see this is a recursive function this function contains the function call to itself so here we can see now this execution will be paused and so this function call will be executed that means now this function will execute for n1 as 2 this process is paused now okay it will execute this first so it will check whether n1 is equal to equal to 1 no n1 is 2 so it will execute this statement that is return n1 n1 is the thing but 2 plus num n1 minus 1 so here also we can see the function call so it will pause this execution and it will execute this function call that is it will execute this code for n1 equal to 1 okay so it will check whether n1 is equal to equal to 1 true so this statement becomes true so this condition becomes true so it will execute this statement it will return 1 so this function will return 1 to this function and now this function will start executing again here we got the result for this this function called returned 1 so we got the answer for that so here it is 2 plus 1 so this function will return 3 
and that result will be returned to here okay this function call where it is called we know the result of num of 2 this num of 2 function will return 3 so here this function returns 3 so we will get 6 this 6 will be returned to here where it is called and that result will be stored in this k variable so k value becomes 6 so now we have n value that is 3 and k value that is 6 next it will execute the next statement that is for loop for row in range n so range of n n value is 3 so range of 3 0 to 3 so we'll get 0 1 and 2 initially row value will be 0 next it will execute the for loop body for row equal to 0 so value is equal to k minus row so k is nothing but 6 minus row so we'll get 6 value as 6 decrementer is equal to n minus 1 so n value is 3 n minus 1 is nothing but 2 next it will execute this for loop column in range row plus 1 so row value is 0 0 plus 1 is nothing but 1 so range will be from 0 to 1 so we'll get 0 so this for loop will be executed for column 0 so it will print the value so value is nothing but 6 so it will print 6 first end is equal to empty string so it will keep the control in the same line next it will check value equal to value minus decrement value is 6 decrementer is 2 so 6 minus 2 will get 4 and decrementer equal to decrement minus 1 that is nothing but 2 minus 1 so we will get 1 so next again the control goes to this for loop but here range is over so it will come out of this for loop and it will execute next statement that is print function so control goes to the next line so now again the control goes to this for loop and now row value is 1 so it will execute this statement value is equal to k minus row k value is 6 row value is 1 now so now value becomes 5 and decrementer equal to n minus 1 n value is 3 and minus 1 so it becomes 2 so it will execute this for loop now range is row plus 1 so row is 1 so 1 plus 1 2 so range will be from 0 to 2 so we'll get 0 and 1 so initially column will be 0 it will print the value so we'll get 5 here because the value of val variable is 5 next end is in the same line next it will go to this statement val is equal to val minus decrementer so 5 minus 2 so we'll get we'll get 3 and decrementer become decrementer minus 1 initially it was 2 now it becomes 1 so now again the for loop goes to here and column will be executed for value 1 okay so column value is 1 it will print the value value is 3 so it will print 3 here next end is empty string it will execute value is equal to value minus decrementer value is 3 decrementer is 1 so we'll get 2 here and decrementer equal to decrementer minus 1 so we'll get 0 and again it will go to this for loop but range is over here so it will come out of this and it will execute this print function so control goes to the next line next again control goes to this for loop and row becomes 2 now so value is equal to k minus row k value is 6 and row is 2 so we'll get 4 value as 4 and decrementer equal to n minus 1 that is nothing but 2 next it will execute this for loop column in range row plus 1 row value is 2 so range will be from 0 to 3 so we'll get 0 1 and 2 0 comma 1 and 2 so initially column value will be 0 and it will print the value so value is 4 so it 4 will be printed here next value is equal to value minus decrementer 4 minus 2 so we'll get 2 here and decrementer equal to decrementer minus 1 so it becomes 1 so again the control goes to this for loop column value becomes 1 now and it will print the value so the value is 2 so it will print 2 here and value is equal to value minus decrementer so value is 2 decrementer is 1 so we'll get 1 and decrementer equal to decrementer minus 1 so 1 minus 1 so we'll get 0 again this for loop will be executed for column 2 so it will print the value value present in the val variable is 1 so it will be printed next value is equal to value minus decrementer so value is 1 decrementer is 0 so 
it becomes 1 decrementer equal to decrementer minus 1 so 0 minus 1 will get minus 1 and again we'll go to this for loop but range is over it will come out of this loop and it will execute this print function so control goes to the next line and again control goes to this for loop but here range is over so it will come out of this loop here there is no other statement to execute so it will end the execution of the program and will get this output okay so this is how this program works so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care